Shout out again to Mabel. This is actually the front page of the entire issue that she reported on. We got copies if you want it. But um, I didn't really draft anything. Um, I got bait. And uh, in journalism school, they tell you to distance yourself from that story, right? To, to kill the emotional human being, any kind of connection you have, to put that aside and simply report. And I am uncapable of doing that. Especially now. Especially now. I got twin babies at home that I get to go to. That I get to go home to every single day. I get to hold them. I get to laugh with them. And there's so many parents, families right now that are being deprived of that very thing that I take for granted. That I'm, again, trying to not take for granted anymore. But Bella and I have covered reunification stories. Anybody that... And, Broke as Stewart kind of really eloquently put it this way. Anybody who tries to argue and uh, and rationalize the, that these camps are needed or that these, that separating families is, is something that is necessary has needs to see a reunification. It reaches, a, it touches something in your soul. Uh, even as a journalist, uh, Marvell interviewed. She didn't talk about this, but she interviewed a young man who was in detention while she was down here. San Diego, do you want a reporting on story? When that guy was released, he was reunited with his family at a clinic here in the Mission District. Well, they'll let me know, and I was there to shoot and document that recovery. I did not equipped to prepare myself for that experience. I was shaken, and I'm still shaken. Seeing the love between a mother who hasn't seen her son in months uh, does something. And I guess I'll end with this. Um, I have uh, I have journalism heroes. One of them is William Monroe Trotter. I don't know if many people know that name. He was a black journalist who founded uh, the Boston newspaper, The Guardian, in the early 1900s. Uh, anybody who is familiar with the history of this country knows that for black people, even in the early 1900s, even in Boston, northern Boston, life was difficult. That was around the time that this movie came out, Birth of a Nation. Anybody who knows that movie, I suggest you look it up. Uh, D.W. Griffith uh, directed it. It was a movie that basically told a, uh, a romanticized version of the founding of this district, one that elevated the Ku Klux Klan to basically like hero worship. Trotter, being the editor of this black newspaper, organized protests like this calling for the boycott of this movie to, be, uh, to not be shown in theaters around Boston because when it was being shown around theaters in this country, massive race riots were, being, uh, were basically orchestrated. And I even struggled to even call it that, race riots. They weren't race riots, they were lynch mobs. Where people, black people were killed after being motivated by this false rhetoric. Those, Trotter was unsuccessful. Those protests were unsuccessful and those screenings, those that movie was eventually shown in Boston, and guess what? Violence happened. And we cannot be unsuccessful here today. These protests have to work. We, we cannot afford to fail here. Because the trauma that is being inflicted upon these innocent youth and families is gonna take generations to recover from. And I just hope that one day, when my babies are old, they get to look back on all of our violence. Every journalist that is standing here, they, they, they can look back at our violence say, you know what, they did not remain quiet. They did not remain objective. They did not remain neutral. They stood up and spoke up. Oh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>